Hello everyone, my name is Julie Demi. I'm a Cambridge Certified English teacher and a teacher trainer. In these sessions, I share with you how to become better teachers and how to make the whole process of education a better experience. In this session, I would like to talk about how to choose the right course. This information will be useful for both teachers and students. Today, I would like to share with you five criteria that will help you choose the right course and what you need to pay attention to before you enroll. So, let's get started! It is important to admit that these days online education became dominant and nowadays there are so many different courses on the market that it's becoming more challenging to understand which is worth enrolling, which is worth dedicating your time to. Today I will share with you something what helps me personally choose the right courses for myself and something what I use in my courses as well when I create them for my students. There are so many different courses that unfortunately overwhelm the market and from time to time it's quite challenging to make the right decision which course to choose and which program to enroll in. I'm sure that you have noticed that there is a lot of hype and marketing promotion of this or that course and it affects people but does it really mean that this course is worth enrolling? That's the question. I have collected some criteria that will probably help you make the right decision. So off we go. The first is an educator analyzes your needs and tries to cater for them. It means that the teacher analyzes your current situation, tries to understand what your current needs are, not just English for traveling or Spanish for relocation, but comes deeper to the core of the issue. An educator analyzes your needs and adjusts necessary changes, if necessary. Criteria number two. The teacher sets realistic and achievable goals. It doesn't mean that the teacher promises that by the end of the course you will have learned everything and obtained the proficiency level. That's something what I'm afraid depends not only on the teacher but also on you personally. A good educator will never promise you some particular results but only will mention something what might be achieved. A teacher creates appropriate environment for learning and acquiring new skills. Criteria number three. Being a native speaker isn't enough to be a good teacher. It requires methodology and ability to teach in order to share experience with students. So if your teacher is a native speaker, it's great, but it is important to clarify whether your teacher has enough qualification in methodology and teaching. A good educator will definitely dedicate enough time to professional development, which means such qualifications like CELTA, DELTA, TKT and many others might be a good proof of knowing methodology and effective techniques how to teach. Criterion number four. A teacher or maybe a manager of the course doesn't persuade you to join the group of lower level. If your level is, let's say, B2 or C1, you need to challenge yourself and you need to study in the group of people whose level is either the same or slightly higher if you want to enhance your skills. It may happen that there are not enough people of your level to launch the group and you can receive such a recommendation to join the group of a lower level. That's a bad sign. Don't do it. Wait for the group of your level and in the meantime, develop your skills on your own. Try to find any other opportunities to improve your level and enhance your skills. Criteria number five. It's important that your level is thoroughly checked. By saying this, I don't mean only a writing test, but also the test that checks your speaking abilities. And it's crucial because what you produce orally matters a lot. Pay attention to the placement test. Is it a written test or is it a spoken test? You need to see that your level is checked thoroughly. If you have an intake of 10 to 15 minutes with your educator, it can definitely help you demonstrate your skills. It's a good sign if the teacher doesn't only check your writing abilities but also how you speak in spontaneous contexts. It will help them make a better picture of your 
current language situation and level of proficiency. I hope that this video was helpful. Please share your ideas and what is important for you when you choose one course or another. And my dear educators, if you are watching this video, probably it will be also helpful for you to take this into consideration when you work with your students. And if you have any other criteria that I haven't mentioned, please share them in the comments down below. I will be very happy to have a look at them and it will help us create a better picture and understanding of a good course. I wish you good luck in looking for a good course and if you have any questions, I will be very glad to answer them in the comments down below. Have a wonderful time and see you in my upcoming videos. Bye!